Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Angular, we will talk about services. Basically, we will focus on the, these two points. First one is what is service. Second one is why we need it. So here you might have a question why I am focusing on these two points. The reason is the beginner guys in Angular actually confused about the service. Sometimes they don't know what is service, how to use it, where we have to use it. Second thing is some guys are actually confused where we should avoid the service and where we should use the service. So we will clear all these questions in this video. Second point to make this video is uh, services are very important for interview purpose also. In interviews, you may directly ask that uh, what is service and uh, any situation where we need uh, services and how you can create the services and all, right? So keep in mind in this video, we are not going to create any service that we will do in the next video right because if i am going to create the service in that video then video will gonna very lengthy or it might not be fruitful for for us so now let's start with the first question what is service so see service are the basically classes that may have some data property or functions and we can use this data property or function in different different files for example you have uh, two pages one is home page second is a uh, user page and you want to share some data between two components that time you can use the services all right so the second question is why we need it uh, the same data on the two pages i can give you an example after that i will show you the complete example with the problem statement uh, through the code right so let's say uh, on a home page and uh, or might be on a, another page you need a user list so what you will do uh, you will call api on the home page or second thing you can do the same api you have to call on the user page also if the your second page name is user so here you are actually duplicating your code same api you are calling on the home page and same api you are calling on the user page also that time we can create a service and call our api on that uh, service and we can share the data between two components right so or you can just simply say that services are the helpers that can share the data between multiple components right so now let's see uh, a problem statement that can be resolved with the service all right so here you can see that we have the app component here we just written here services in Ang angular so here what i'm just going to do i am putting here uh, some data so let's say we have member data and this is basically a array and it have some data let's say name is peter and it have email also peter at the rate test.com and it might have some other, another data also like phone number address and all but let's take only two for a moment second one is sam third one is bruce and let's let's say last one is uh, tony All right so now i want to use this data on our home page uh, let's say you know home app dot component dot html so what we can do here let's create a simply ul li and use here for loop to print it ng for and let's take a let data in member data and let's simply print it uh, data off actually not in you can put here data dot name and let's check it out what we are getting here here you can see that we are getting this list that is simple way there is a no issue uh, we can if we are just getting the data only on uh, one place that time we can call it on our uh, component also that's okay but let's say we have another requirement and we need to make a footer so let me just create a ng g4 generate c4 component and component name is footer 
right so here we have a footer component great so we don't need this uh, terminal anymore so i am just closing it now uh, let's add some add this footer inside our app component let's simply use here app footer so here you might have wondered that why i i know how i know that if i just put here app footer then the footer will be rendered here so i told you that many times but if some guys actually missed it missed that then don't worry i am just going to tell you again just go to the app.component.ts and just use this selector as a html tag and your component will be uh, you can say that uh, displayed here that's perfect so now let's get get back to this footer component back and change this uh, p tag with the div and it have a footer class and again let's take here h1 tag let's simply put here footer and here you can see that this is looking much better but it should be at the bottom because it's basically a footer and footer are always in the bottom of our application so let me put here a background color it can be sky blue position can be absolute width can be let's say 99 or 100 percent and uh, after that uh, mm, what we can do here we can just take a bottom zero that's pretty fine so you can also fix this uh, side and bottom uh, padding also if you want but uh, we are not actually focusing on style that's why i'm just leaving it so now let's go to the footer and just use a dot footer class inside your footer css file and just simply use this css and now you will find that this is looking much better so now let's say you have a requirement that to just use and show this list on a footer also so for that what you will do here you don't have any solution so what you will do you will just copy the data from app.component.ts from here and you will paste it inside the uh, footer.component.ts and after the getting this uh, list copy from app.component.html you will paste it inside the footer.html page and you will find that this is still working fine so maybe if you need only email in the footer then it will still work perfectly right but is that the right way the answer is no but yes it can resolve our purpose but this is not a right way the reason is we are actually duplicating our code here you can see that we are using this array in our footer.ts file also as well as in our app.component also so might be there is a list of thousands of user so we cannot use like this right for that time what you can do you can just make a common file and share the data between footer and app component and simply use it and that file be our service right yes this will be not a simple object there will be a class and uh, might be there is some functions also properties also definitely they can have but this is basically a service and this is not much complex so in the next video we will understand that what is how we can create that service and how we can use it and thank you so much for watching this video and in the case of interviews in interviews directly they can ask that uh, 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 what is service and uh, any problem statement where you can uh, just use the service so you can just share that that when we need to data in us two components that time we can just create a common service and we can use another question is in service can we have functions also yes we can have have functions also in services next question can be asked uh, can we use the service in uh, multiple modules yes we can use this uh, service in multiple modules also thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel